Hey everybody, this is My Collectibles coming back with another review video for Vivi of the Batman Who Laughs. This is going to be quite something. Here's a first look at this whole thing right here. Absolutely gorgeous right here, this collectible. And of course, we have the little jokers that are going along with it right there, all three of them. And this is one of those combining and crafting you know, type of drops where you actually are not going to be blind boxing. You can go in and pick these ones individually, which does present some really interesting opportunities, some really interesting notions about what you want to do with this drop. A lot of different kinds of things you can do if you're not interested in crafting, if you just want to go after specific collectibles. But this is another one of these absolutely beautiful drops with utility crafting on top that Vivi is doing. We'll give you my opinions about what I think about this, uh, about how this is set up. I'll talk a little bit about how some of the community is talking about this on their initial reactions. This is January the 17th, and these come out in a few days from now. So if you do like the video, make sure you smash like, and you got to comment down below. After you've seen everything I have to say here today and everybody else's opinions, let me know what you're going to do about this one because it looks great. Now, let's just quickly look at what this is based upon. This is based upon this statue right here that is now sold out online, unless you go on eBay, of course. This is a beautiful statue right here. Very cool. You know, if you actually look at, you know, uh, Zavi, this site right here, which is cool. This is sold out here. You'll be able to pick this up in other places. But this is a, a Greg Capullo's design of the character right there. And you can see that this all together, very similar in appearance right there, very similar stance. All four, all three of the little Robins are the same way. So, you know, this is what it's based upon. So once you put this together, they're all on bases. They're going to kind of click in together. Uh, then you'll have this kind of completed statue set. Now, I have seen some people wonder why they didn't just give us this particular one collectible as opposed to doing it in separateness, you know, but I actually like the fact that it's separate because you can do a whole lot more with them in your showroom, in your vault, and you can play around with them. And specifically, you can play around with this guy who already exists on VV right here, and you can do some fun stuff with him as well. Let's not forget about the FA of Batman, who this is Batman 89 right here that we already have on VV. Let's not forget about this one. You can do some fun stuff. So I like that they're separate and not that they're all locked into a base right here. But let's get into the article breakdown right here. This is all over on, obviously, VV's site. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. Let's check this out, and I'll give you the full description right here. The Batman Who Laughs. Four digital collectible drops individually on the 21st of January at 8 a.m. So that's coming up pretty quick on Sunday. Today is Wednesday when I'm making this video, so you do have a bit of time. But this looks absolutely amazing. Look at this right here. I mean, does that not look great? It's kind of, kind of a lava level kind of base. Now, I know the original one we have, the 89 Batman, isn't on a base, which people like for sure. But this one is on a base, but it goes all together. They all click in right there. And then we scroll down right here. He's going for 40. So if you just want him, he's 40 gems from the store. There's 2,450 of those. So way scarcer, of course, than the 89 Batman, which has like thousands. I think he has to say about 16,000. How many do you have? 16,800 editions. So this guy's going to be a lot scarcer. This guy goes for about 22 right now in the market. So I predict this guy's going to be worth more than the original FA right there, you know, but not by a whole lot. I think he does go into retail, but we'll talk about price predictions in a little bit. 2,450 though. So you got to buy this one first. Okay, and then you can go in here and you can start buying up the Dark Robins, as they say. This is number three. This is a rare. Looks so gorgeous right here. You can actually see very similar in terms of the exact sort of artwork that we have on the statuette right there. You can see him right there. He's just standing there nicely. This is 25 gems, so they're a little cheaper, which is nice. So if you just want to get one of these, you can. And, of course, there's the Chase one to go after, which is the Secret Rare. This one's the rare right there. For sure, 2,450 editions as well. So you can see that's as many statues that we're going to get is 2,450 total. They do hold some back, so it's going to be actually less than that, closer to 2,200. Here's the Robin, Dark Robin number two, crouching, really cool, really menacing right here. You can see here he is right in the middle of that one right there. 
And this one actually has 1800 editions as an ultra rare right there, same price. And then here's the secret rare right here, which I think everyone's going to go for this one first, the secret rare, because, you know, 25 gems for a secret rare of a dark Robin. That's actually a really good price. All of these are priced really well at 25 gems. It's the combination that people are talking about. But we'll talk about that in just a second. 1150 on the secret rare right there as well. So they're giving everyone a good chance to put this together. Now, here's the kicker right here. If you get all four of these collectibles and you have to get them from the store, not from the market, you got to get them all four from the store. So you have to buy each one. You'll be able to craft up until February, the Dark Knight's metal, this nice metal right here emblem. Okay. So this is going to be really interesting. The most you'll be able to get is 1150 of them because that's the, that's the secret rare right there. The dark Robin one chase. So that's as many as you can get. And you can see down here, they say 1150 crafting price is zero so it's going to be free to craft all you have to do is get the set and then you'll get this dark knight's metal emblem now how many people are going to get the set well that is the question isn't it how many people are going to go in and spend 75 plus another 40 so that's 100 and what uh if i do my math <laughs> that is 115 i think is what the price is on that one right there so 75 plus 40 so that's 25 and then yeah 115 gems for the entire collectible here. So is this whole collectible plus an emblem worth 115 gems? I personally think it is, you guys. It really is. I mean, this is beautiful. They're separate. They can be moved around. And you get the emblem on top for 115 if you go and get it from the store. I actually don't have a problem with the price. I think it's pretty good. But we're going to actually have people who actually don't, I can see it already on Twitter, which is fine. This is good feedback for Vivi that they might think that this might be a bit too much to go for this whole thing to be able to get that, you know, like this, this little Dark Knight's metal uh, emblem right here. Okay. So 115 for this guy. Okay. Which I think is good. All four of them. That's four collectibles. Okay. And then you get the free one on top. So will the total amount add up to more than that? Probably not in the aftermarket. You'll probably be able to get this whole set a little bit cheaper in the aftermarket. I don't know how many people are going to craft this whole thing, but I do, like I said, think that it's definitely worth it in regards to gems. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm nuts. But, you know, if you go after this secret rare and get a really nice mint number, that's going to be really fantastic as well. I think people will sell the secret rare out. Okay, and then I think uh, after that, you know, we'll see what happens with these guys. I don't think they're fully going to sell out. So you're going to have a cheap emblem there. I'm not a cheap emblem. I'm sorry. This emblem is going to be more scarce than 1150. That is for sure. It's probably going to be somewhere around 300 or so, you know, in regards to how many actually get crafted. And then people will complete this set in the aftermarket for cheaper, I think. But this could be a really interesting test. We're going to see how the uh, general public thinks about these. Now, I do think this guy right here, uh, this statue right here, he's at 40 in the store. I think he goes for about 25 to 30. This is my price predictions, you guys. Now, I could be completely wrong. This is very difficult to price predict. Here's Dark Robin number three at 25. I think this one goes for about 18 or so. I think all of them do that. I think this one here goes for about, you know, right around uh, 20 to 25 on retail. I think the Secret Rare right here, this one goes for about 50 or so in the aftermarket. So if you add that together, if you go 50... Okay, and then you go 20, that's 70. And then you go right here about 18 or so. That's about like, you know, close to 90. And then you go right here at about 20 or uh, sorry, about 30 or so. That's actually around the same price as if you just get it from the store. And if you do it that way, you know, from the store, you will get the emblem for free. So I do think it's worth it to go for it if you have the gems in the store. Now, that's the question. Do people have the gems for this? We will find out. I don't think it's going to fully sell out though, but these look absolutely amazing. No one is complaining about that. Now, let me just show you something else right here. If you want to get uh, you know, some other digital collectible that's really beautiful as well, head over to HRO and you can pick up the animated card right here. This is one of those rewards cards. And this one is actually doing really well as well. Look at how beautiful that is right there. So if you are in the market for you know, being like, um, you know, but collecting digitally, HRO has this card, goes for 120 just for the card. Of course, this one has rewards that are attached here. There's a whole thing behind it. So is this guy worth 115? I think he definitely is, guys. Now it's time for your thoughts. I want to hear what you have to say about this. Are you going for this one? Are you going to put them together? 
Are you going to go after that emblem right there and try to complete this nice statue in your set for 115 and then you get the emblem on top? I think it's well worth it, you guys. Anyway, good luck if you're going for it. I will see you in the next video <laughs> and happy collecting.